Okay, YouTube, a quick story about my day and some unboxing. Oh, it looks like I got to edit for y'all. See, I hate this darn gone phone where it just can't go straight to my SD card and just pull from there. So I got 11 minutes and then I'm going to have to, it, it will cancel out and switch over to my darn gone uh, SD card. I wish it would do it just automatically as opposed to stopping the camera, but we'll Let's get into it. So my day was pretty good. I worked another 11. Actually, I got off earlier today. Um, only for my internet to be that. Now, I'm sick of Spectrum. Now, Spectrum is so bipolar. Like, only in North Carolina where our, our internet and shit go, goes out completely during bright, clear, sunshiny day. Sunshiny day. But in the midst of a hurricane where you would think it would go out, it, I guess that's a blessing that it don't go out during those times. But it's like, here I was about to come home and, you know, get on the phone with the uh, the reschedule because I couldn't get out of my uh, date on the 5th. She already scheduled me for the 5th. So I had to put a request to be off on the 11th, right? Uh, and then I can talk with my accountant and lawyers for my aesthetics practice. Uh, because my paperwork should be back um, by the 5th. So, yeah, I had to do that. And then I'm having some hiccups already with this darn on car, y'all. And I ain't even got it. I had to get insurance, right, before I can even test drive it. Um, And then I had to send over my driver's license. So, I'm thinking worst case scenario is I just don't get to test drive the car before, the, which is so crazy. So crazy. Because it's like, they said if I didn't have it by the time I, I just can't test drive the car, but I can still purchase the car. Um, I had to just this darn old step stool on my, you see, this is why I, the things I do for y'all, I can't wait to get out of here. Had to be on a step stool just to do these videos for y'all. But, yeah, I had to get full coverage, which I ended up going with Liberty Mutual. Um, I looked at everybody. I looked at the general. I looked at Progressive. I was getting quotes all the way up into the 200s. Uh, Liberty called me back. Guy from Raleigh, North Carolina. So, very familiar. So, I they, they could deal with the country accent and everything. Because y'all know how we as country folks get to saying different words and stuff that you... But you know country folks understand country folks. So I was glad to get a country guy on the phone. Uh, he was from Raleigh. Well, he was stationed in... You know, his office is in Raleigh. I don't know if he's from Raleigh. But he was country nonetheless. And he could understand my country. So he ended up... They, they, and you know, they was a mind the list. The general uh, quoted me at 185... Liberty quoted me at 225, but then revised it and gave me down to 189. Then found out I work in the school system. Uh, by the time that was all said and done, with, with factoring in the colleges that I went to, factoring in the school I currently work at, um, they was able to get me down to um, 158, and I I, I got. I think $500 collision, $1,000 for the other one for the deductible. So, yeah, that's my full coverage insurance. And But I don't got no card. And, and I got back on the phone with the uh, CarMax sales rep. They sent me over some documents to, sh um, you know, one link to, you know, to send them my, um, the front, back of my driver's license, and then a face of moi. And then the next one was... For my insurance, if I, I just took a picture, and hopefully that will suffice, of the uh, Liberty Mutual website, and it gave my policy number. It's like, come on now. You you, you could just verify it through the darn on policy. Like, don't don't go giving me the runaround over this thing. Now, let me darn on test. But see, even if I don't get the test driving on the spot, I'm glad I do have a seven-day window. Um, where I can return the car, no questions asked. So I guess the worst case scenario is I just don't get to test drive it that day with 
Like I said, it's so crazy because it's like, okay, I, I, I test drive it afterwards. But then they said they couldn't even schedule the point. I guess they couldn't schedule until they saw my license. Now, as far as the uh, insurance, I guess that's just a matter of debate of whether I get to test drive the car or not beforehand. Worst case scenario is I sign the paperwork and I test it out after the fact. I don't like it. I turn it back in. I have to, you know, finesse this job situation because it's like my hours, I work all the way long term next week. We on this temporary schedule until Friday, but starting Saturday, I'm working like from 12 to 6, and then I'm off that Monday. So I guess Monday is really where I'll be. T but see, Monday, I got to finally do my hair. Like, it's been two weeks. I got to do my hair. And then, I guess you say, well, one. It only takes you like two hours now to do your hair, can't you? No, because now I got to schedule in my waxing. Because I can't let this hair keep growing in, y'all. So, I got... I know y'all don't see it, but I see it. it's too much hair right here. So, I got to, you know, get this hair off. So, I'm going to wax my chest. My arms can go another, you know, couple weeks. Uh... Same thing for lit, but I got to least get rid of this chest hair. So, the chest hair, and then hopefully by Wednesday, I don't got no calendar in front of me, but I'm trying to see when I can schedule my next Brazilian. I'm I'm gonna go on here and back down there, cause I ain't found nobody else to do my Brazilians. Yeah, I told y'all I wasn't gonna go to the place that I've been going to, but you know, for convenience sake, since they just across the street from me. It might be best. So, by the 5th, she should have the schedule up of the next day I'm off. And then, I can go ahead and set up my Brazilian appointment from there. Houses, I have not seen no new houses. I haven't gotten a call back from the one bedroom, one, one bath yet. More likely, somebody done took that. So, that's my dilemma. But, at least, I finally got the car. It's just a matter of the stress with the paperwork and stuff. But, you know, I don't pay for my policy. My It's just my policy is not active to the first, but I, this, the delivery ain't scheduled to the second. So, the fact that I do have an active policy at the time that they will have the appointment. But the thing is this. I don't know if in their system they can't schedule it until the, you know, the first. I don't know. But I do have it on hold for up to seven days. And I started doing this yesterday. So I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I have up to Wednesday uh, to figure this out. They have the car on hold for seven days. So, yeah, my policy becomes active on Saturday. Because they say the policy has to be active uh, for me to uh, test drive the car. So, I guess they will process my appointment that Saturday. I, I would call to confirm if they didn't and have them set to come out Sunday. Because once again, I would just go there because the, the car is at the Fayetteville's um, CarMax. But here's the problem. Y'all know this issue with me getting a car. Like I had to beg the day just for somebody to darn on turn in my um, food stamp recertification for me. And it's like just simple stuff like this. Like we're literally... We're like 4.4 miles, not even 5 miles from the DSS. And I'm telling you that I will give you $10. The zip, it's not like you got the waiting line or anything. With COVID, the only thing you're doing is putting the thing in the um, in the box and coming back out the door. You ain't got to wait on nobody. You ain't got to speak to nobody. Just put the thing in the slot and come on out. The only reason I can't do it is by the time I get off of work and try to get on the bus route, the darn on social service be closed. Now, even though I got off early today, I, like I said, I had to call and reschedule my appointment with my, uh, you know, business lawyer on this, uh, about my aesthetics practice. And then I had to deal with this car situation, so... That's why I couldn't do it, even though I got off early. And it wasn't scheduled for me to be off early today. You know, that girl that I told y'all I have an issue with, honey, she's been mighty nice, honey. I, I, and, you know, maybe, I don't know if it's because I'm one of the only original ones left 
and they got the although the new people is doing just fine it's you doing so good make me think i might can just go ahead and in the next month or so go ahead and put in my two weeks no because i was thinking well shoot you out of all the old folks and stuff but i'm going to give it a couple weeks to see who comes back because we we still are not certain who are the couple people that were out and then I come to find out today, our long-term person who used to do our cookies and stuff, she done moved, hopped and moved to Tennessee. But the daughter's still there, though. So, But, yeah, a lot of our people are gone or temporarily out of commission. I'm going to give it two weeks to see who's there. And, you know, it, that'll be that with the job. Um, and then Saturday supposed to be our first official busy day, so... That's that on the job front. I'm coming up at 11.21, so I'm going to show y'all this as soon as my camera switches over. So I'm going to let it go ahead and burn out so it can go ahead and switch over. But yeah, that's what's been my job life. I'm so excited for this darn on car to come, honey. Oh, I just can't wait, y'all. Okay, four, three, two. Okay, I got 57 minutes. It switched over to my SD card. Like I said, it has to it has to clear all the way out. If I try to clear earlier, it just start from the little bit of time I have left on the phone memory. So I have to let it burn all the way out. I mean, you know, clear all the way out, and then it switches over to the SD card. But the reason why I'm I'm swinging this knife, honey, like Diva Samurai, is because I got my TLC order. Dun, 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 dun. So this is my third month's bottle. I'm doing a little bit of unboxing with y'all today. So we done got all the gossip talk out. Like I said, old girl's been nice. She she went from being a complete bitch, honey, to being somewhat tolerable. We're still not cool like that, but the fact that we can converse with each other and I don't get the eye rolls from her anymore. And then she gave me the... Now, she might have tried to be in shady with sending me home early or whatever because she didn't offer it. A, but then again, everybody else is new. And maybe, you know, she wanted to show them how to clean up afterwards and give, you know, me and the other woman a break from doing the clean, especially since I'm closing all throughout next week. So maybe she, I, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. And say she let me go as a compliment as opposed to trying to cut my hours. Because the gag is I don't go there for the money. I go there for my argophobia and, you know, my depression. And now that I'm doing good and I got me a car and my aesthetics practice is about to be up and running sh sh um, slowly but surely, my days are numbered there anyways. And then we got to wear these tacky masks. Or the, the ones with the company logo. But I, I'm going to see how the company one. But they wouldn't let me wear my darn on colorful mask, honey. They wouldn't let me. Wouldn't let me wear my darn on mask. This is the one I got darn on flat for. Now, I ain't come in with the darn on show enough one. Now, I can understand if I came in with this one on. You know, especially with this, you know. I I, I can understand, you know, they, they would have been in their feelings if I would have came in with this one. <laughs> I can understand. Or this one. And last but not least. This one right here. If I would have came in with any one of those three, I can understand. But I came in with the love is love, honey. And they still said no. Got me suffocating. Every time I breathe into this one, feels like I'm dang on suffocating. I'm going to ask tomorrow about that face shield. Shoot, I'm about to purchase a face shield for my status practice. And with the UV light and stuff, honey, that, that definitely can suffice. And shoot, and I'm in the back too. 
It's like I'm, I'm dealing with the heat and the grease and stuff. I ain't even dealing with the public. It's like, let me wear my dark on face shield. But anyway, open it on up. Ta-da! That's my package. So this is my third bottle. Why does this one look like it's shaped different? Oh, do we got to do a comparison again, y'all? Because this one looked like it's shaped different from the one I got in the kitchen. So let me pause this real quick. Okay, y'all. I'm noticing a change again. So we got to do a comparison video. So this is a neutral burst plus. These are what the first two bottles they sent me look like. Now, mind you, we had to do a comparison the last time with the tops because both of them came with this bottle. But the other one, my very first one, came with a black top and not a green top. This one came with the green top, but still with the shampoo looking bottle, and it looks like this. Now, this one that I just opened in front of y'all, it has this dip design number right here. So, y'all see the subtle differences? So both of them are from the company. I don't want y'all thinking y'all getting any knockoffs and stuff. But you know, with the COVID, you know, the, they had to temporarily change the bottles, change the caps. So y'all are getting to see it in real time with Diva Wan, how the changes are. So the last video, which I put in the description box, you know, the change was with the, um not only the bottles, but the different tops. They went from the black top to the green top which the green top is the normal one, but this is not normal shape. Now they have gone back to this holding design versus this. So, but both of them are 16 ounces. So you're not getting cheated. Both of them are indeed 16 fluent ounces. Ingredient lists, all identical. You got your orange powder, bilberry extract, pear powder, peach powder, pineapple powder, blueberry powder, grapefruit powder, raspberry powder, strawberry powder, uh, agarula powder, apple powder, cranberry fruit powder, citrus, bio, bio powder, and apple pectin, uh, kale pear, kale, uh, kale powder, spirula powder, powder, wheatgrass powder, spinach powder, broccoli powder, cauliflower powder, kelp powder carrot powder and then all your essential amino acids I mean your um minerals and vitamins your amino acids your coenzyme 10 at 20 milligrams and then Don't have no scissors near me, y'all. And of course, I'm not going to open this because I still got a few more days of the other one. But I just wanted to show y'all what the top looked like. So that's what the top looks like on this one. And then even though I took one earlier today, yeah, don't judge it. You know it's real, honey. I don't, I ain't one of the girls on the Thousand Families, honey. I ain't got the showcase bottle, honey. This the real one, honey. I mean, of course, they, they got the real ones, too. But I mean, you know, they got the money where they got keep their thing aesthetically clean for the marketing purposes. And, you know, they got it decked out in diamonds. It's like, honey, I, I'm drinking the stuff. We ain't put, you know, I, I, I'm not, I'm a diva, but we ain't about to be darn on, be dazzling the bottle and tricking it out. It's like, honey, as long as the product inside works good, we, we know so much care what this look like. As long as the ingredients are legible, honey, we ain't about to be doing no be dazzling over here. No shade to the other ones, but honey, diva don't got time for that. So let me go ahead and pour my.
So that's my second shot of the day. Second and last shot. I ain't coach Stormy Williams on honey. I ain't got it like that where I can take three, four, five shots. Sorry, y'all. I got messages. But yeah, that's that on the um comparison. Now let me go ahead and show you my new shirts and we're gonna be on up out of here. Okay, last thing to show y'all today is these shirts that I ordered over seven weeks ago. And I got them from OHH Clothing. I will try to leave a link down below, but honey, be warned, you will be waiting like five weeks for them to get your shirts together. So I hope this is correct. I ordered me some gay pride shirts. So we're going to see what they look like. This is the packaging that they came in after seven weeks. So I didn't even have to be home for this order. I thought I would, but they managed to put it in my mailbox. So open it up. Although, before I show you that, I guess it would behoove me since I just got finished talking about, you know, the neutral births. I want to show y'all how real it is for your girl, honey. Like I said, I'm treating this as a business so I can get me a tax write off at the end of the year. So, honey, I, I got my turn on official. Da -da 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 -da. Hunt. I told y'all, <laughs> it's real for your girl. I done got me a good old neutral bird. I, I, I really love this darn on juice though. I, it, it's not just a sales tactic for me. I I can do without the tea, but this neutral bird, honey, I love the neutral bird so much. So I done got me a darn on neutral bird shirt, y'all. So yeah, that's how <laughs> devoted that I am, honey. I done got me a whole neutral bird shirt out in these streets. But two of the gay pride shirts. Ooh. Let's see how they fit as well. So, this is the first one. I'm part of the pride, honey. I am part of the pride. Matter of fact, let's see how it fits. And y'all know we ain't doing no editing today. <laughs> I don't got time for that. We ain't doing no uh, fancy music and all that. I ain't, you know, hopefully when I get up out of here, you know, then your girl can invest and do all that. But right now, honey, we just going to keep it like this. So y'all bear with me. So this is, I want to say I got them all in a size medium or large. Okay, I got them all in a large. Or it might be a combination of medium and large. I don't know. I think I went a step up because I think I said, well, shoot, they, they might be from China and they might run small. So let me, you know, order accordingly. But I think I might have ordered all of these in large. I know with my aesthetic shirts, um, uh, you know, my spa bay, uh, you know, and all of those. And I show y'all that in the different video. You know, I ordered those in a medium. Because for y'all that don't know, I am a size um, 8. Well, actually, I think I'm still a size... No, I'm, I'm a size 6 right now. But when I get up about the 175, I'll be back to a size 8. At 175, I'll be a... Yeah, it takes me like 20-some pounds just to go up two dress sizes. The advantage of being tall, but... This is this. So I am part of the pride, honey. Woo! Yes, it's a nice fit. It's a pretty nice fit, y'all. So that's the pride one. Go on, way to fold that one back. 
And then I'm going to really save that one for last, honey. Next is Shut the F Up. And you know what? By the time I upload this video on my Instagram, I should have the pictures of these. So this is the Shut the F Up. And they came in gray and a lighter beige, but you know I'm a dark brown skin sister and this was the closest um, flesh tone like color like i was trying to go with the beyonce ape shit by have you ever seen a crowd go ape shit ah step my money fans go doom 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 so i tried to go with this you know flesh tone color because i thought it matched my you know deep dark skin tone the most as opposed to the beige i could have still pulled off the beige but you know it, it, it wouldn't have been as aesthetically cohesive up against my skin tone but I could have still pulled it off nonetheless so that is that for the shut the F up so next one is oh matter of fact here we go. I got a match with one of my um with one of my mask, honey. So I'm just gonna show you. Now this one I can pair with this mask right here. Love is love, honey. So that's the love is love. And this one fits like a medium because this one fits the most snug on me. Did I order this one in a medium? I don't know. This is a large too. I don't know why that one felt a little bit more snug on me, like true to fit. Okay, and then this one is the ones I think y'all is going to be like, okay, this is the naughty <laughs> diva coming out, y'all. Now, this is like the TMI shirt. But I found this to be cute for the Christians. When the Christians ask about why are you gay or why are you trans or whatever. And this, that, and the third. Honey, this is the shirt that I got for they, for they behinds, honey. This is the shirt that I got for them. When they say, why are you not interested in women? Number one, I'm not a lesbian. Don't let these flat tie ties fool you, honey. I'm going to get my cleavage someday. Mm, this mask is actually making my vocals sound a little bit good, honey. Y'all want to be like, Diva, you might should wear that mask more often, honey. But when they ask you, why are you not into the punani? This is why I'm not into the punani, honey. I know it's backwards for y'all, but it says, dudes taste better, honey. Dudes just taste better. That's why. I'm not into the darn gone cootie cootie. I'm not into the sugar bowl. I'm into the magic stick. Dudes taste better. I like the darn gone taste of a darn gone nice drizzle, honey. I like drizzle. I don't like showers. Mm -mm, I don't do showers. I don't do the I don't do the sugar shower, honey. I do the darn gone cinnamon drizzle. I do. I like a good old nice drizzle, not a darn old shot. You could, mm -mm. y'all. Mm -mm. 
My lesbian sisters, y'all can have that. My darn gone uh, bisexual guys out there, y'all can have that. My heterosexual guys, y'all can have it. But me, the dudes just taste better for me. <laughs> and I know you about. I know you're gonna be like, "Well, Diva, why you buy it, sonny? You ain't never been in the cool cat." And guess what? I want to say that. Well, guess what? You ain't never been down there with the si Oh, you know, if it's a guy, we're gonna be like, "You ain't never been down there with the cinnamon stick before." For my straight guys and for the women, I'm gonna be like, "Well, why don't you try cool cat then?" So. This is why I got this good clapback shirt. And it, it was just a, a a good old, how can I say it? I just felt like darn on saying F it. <laughs> it's just a darn on good satire fun shirt to have on just whenever somebody asks me. Can y'all imagine me wearing this in the Walmart? Can y'all imagine? Although, you know, they in Walmart, hell, this, this probably just be normal every day where, with the darn on people that come up in there with the rollers, the darn on, uh, and then the ones that come on, it, come in there with the pajama set, it don't never be the shapely guys, honey. It don't never be the ones where they, where we get, get the peek at some. It always be the old frumpy Pillsbury Doughboy shaped person that want to come up in there with the darn old jogging pants. And now you nobody trying to see your darn old awkward shape behind. And what, what we can tell is like, why the way you got some athletic gear? And this is for both men and women. Why the way you got athletic gear on and, and, and you ain't never been in the gym? Honey, Kelly Rowland did not come out with Fabletics. And, uh, well, maybe Beyonce did come out with Ivy Park for some of y'all bougie mother freakings that want to fake the front. But when it came to Fabletics and stuff like that, honey, you supposed to actually exercise and stuff. It ain't just supposed to be darn on tooted up for the gram, honey. And yeah, twerking can be a workout to a certain extent, but you got to work out on that foo ba foo ba dee doo And I ain't just talking about my women because some of y'all men... Got that darn on, uh, what made it say? That, uh, booty do? Your, your, your stomach sticks out more than your booty do? Come on now, get that together now. So, matter of fact, I need to come out with a custom shirt. <laughs> Not only do dudes taste better, but I need to add a preference for strong, suckling, athletic. You know, I need to come out with my own type of shirts, y'all. I know y'all thinking that Diva Wong wouldn't come out with shirts this blood, but I actually would. I would come out with my, and then it, it, I trust, and trust, believe me, y'all. If I get my own print and press machine, honey, I got a, quite a bit of ideas once I get in my house. <laughs> I might need to order me a print and press machine and come out with my own shirts. And you, because with my shirts, I actually have some more graphics. On. Now, it won't be totally explicit, but you know, I have something, you know, more black you know, black trans friendly, you know, uh, expressing our interests in a nice, uh, okay, I'm giving out too much because I notice every time I darn gonna say some stuff, somebody ends up beating me to the punch. I, I learned my lesson from that, y'all. Would y'all believe how many ideas done gotten snatched from me over the years? Y'all wouldn't believe how many ideas done got snatched from me over the years. Matter of fact, even the, um, I had an idea for um, clothing surrounded by black pride and LGBT pride. Somebody beat me to that punch and made full five million dollars. Uh, the natural wig game on, you know, shout out to Jessica Petway. She done beat me on that trend. And then I keep talking about, you know what, I ain't even gonna mention the other one. They start to pick up traction. I'm just gonna keep silent on that one and then get up on my game and jump on that train. Um, but yeah, as far as the shirts, I think I need to come out with my own little shirts. Um, it won't be no full-time business venture, but just something cute to do. But y'all give me y'all thoughts on that. But yeah, that's it, y'all. Those are all my purchases. Ugh. I hate I know this is so random, but I can't wait to get rid of this hair. This is where it's at now. I'm not sick and tired of it. I know, so random, y'all, but...
I guess we're gonna finally try that. Oh, and I need to. I know I'm all over the place, y'all. I need to finally order this tomorrow. So order that tomorrow. Put in my planning journal to come out with my own shirts like this, and then try out those fibers. I'm gonna try them out on. I guess I'll try them out tomorrow because tomorrow is the only day I can record, providing that this demon is not home. So I would do one for the Fabron fibers tomorrow so we can see how it does. Because Saturday I work, Sunday I got to get the car, and Monday I got to wash my hair. Um, so I can get my curls and stuff back. This is what my hair looks like when it's just the elements takes over. It's a frizz. I, and I actually don't mind. If I had something right here, that way I can give a full afro. But right now it's giving me like the ghetto, the ghetto colonial guy, honey. Where it's like ain't nothing here and then everything right here. I'd rather be bald. But then it's like with my eczema, that might not be a good look because of the way that my scap acts up. So I, I, I still need some hair. Oh, and speaking of hair. I actually finally purchased me some hair. Now, to y'all rest of y'all black helpers, y'all that don't have no even skin tone. See, let me tell y'all something. Why was it so hard for me to find a blonde wig? Y'all know I was fixing to come up on here with a good uh, black lipstick, honey, and a deep eyeshadow. And I was even going to get on the Instagram and turn my eyes blue. And I was going to give y'all a storm, honey. Because I still have not yet to do the video on addressing Janelle Monet supposed to be playing Storm. Now, y'all, and anybody who knows about my Storm series, honey, y'all know we've been discussing this for years. Y'all know what my thoughts are on who I want to be the pick this Storm. And, and they, they, they keep annoying it. At this point, I'm thinking about I need to go try out for Storm. Honey, don't, don't once again, don't let this darn go on ahead and stuff fool you. Honey, I was going to get me a good platinum wig. Just imagine me with a long platinum blonde wig, honey, and dark blue eyes. And I couldn't put it on the accent. Honey, well, I think that was more Jamaican than anything. But we'll, we'll try to finesse the accent. I know I, I get rid of this country accent. I know y'all going to be like, my well, diva, you know, Storm supposed to be from, you know, um, Cardro. Cardinal. You know, I, I would try to put on it because I can't put on no New York and accent. <laughs> now that that'll make me lose the gig, honey. If, if they try to go from the um from New um from her being from New York, honey, I ain't gonna I am hell no. Now if they do Cairo, Cairo, I, I think it'd be easier with my country to switch it up to an African accent versus me trying to go to a Bronx. I, I can't even mimic a Bronx accent. Hell no. But yeah, all the blonde wigs were sold out. I was about to come up on here and give y'all a good old freak of tease, honey. I was about to give da 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 Now, which shirt would I want to pair with that? Now, I, I wouldn't have worn this because this is too warm tone. Once again, with platinum, you got to be cottonous of the type of colors that you wear. Platinum is on the cool side of the spectrum, so you want to wear something more cool and neutral where it complements and don't contrast. Um, even though my skin tone is neutral and I can do both, you don't want, you know, with hair that's so strikingly cool tone, you don't want to compete with very warm colors. So, yeah, for it to flow cohesively, I would have paired it with this shirt right here. A nice neutral brown with my pop of color. My shut the F up shirt. I would have had on my platinum blonde, honey. I would have had on my deep darn on black lipstick. But they was all sold out on the Elevated Style website. So I ended up getting me some colorful um, Afro wigs. I got me a platinum blonde one so I can look like a a, a dandelion going down the street, honey. I can, I can show this rich, deep borderline chocolate skin up against that platinum blonde fro so y'all gonna see that one matter of fact i think it would be my first type four platinum blonde wig all over because y'all know i still got the curly one matter of fact let me show y'all that one because y'all ain't seen her in a minute
And shout out to a fellow stylist, honey. Um, D Star, I noticed you seen this video recently. And this is what that wig looked like all these years later. You see how it's fluffed out and it's gotten better with time. So this is what she looks like today. I know I never have time to put her on, but this is what she looks like. Yes, honey. So this is my good old wig. Oh, and this is what I meant by 6 um 112. You see how it's blonde, but it's not platinum. It's more like a level 8 golden blonde. So this is what, you know, 6112 theoretically looks like. So it's a nice, you know, level 8 golden blonde. It's way more golden in real life. You know, I got this ring light, so it's coming off a little bit more platinum on this side. But if you see it in real life, um, it's real golden. And actually, you can still tell the gold um, in real time a little bit. Because, you know, platinum hair will look, you know, starkly white on camera. Versus this, you can still see the yellow in the, um, on the wig. Oh, shoot. My closet is too small, y'all. I'm knocking over skincare products and stuff. But, see, that is it, y'all. Um... Oh, another reason why I need another closet. I got my wigs I need to organize. And it is like, I don't even know where I'm going to put those. Because my closet is to capacity. So I'm going to have to make some more space over there. This is why I need to get up out of here. Now, I'm, I'm literally running out of room. But I'm ordering more and more stuff by the day. Which I personally feel like I need. Honey, it's been a, over a year since I got me a wig. Uh, even though I got... Let me see. How many I got now? That I still kept. Because you know my synthetic units. Some of them I got to toss out. Because you know they naturally made up. And I wore them a lot. And then there's some wigs that y'all ain't never gotten to see up on here. Like I've had some purple hair. I've had some. I had a rear. A last year I had a rear funky. Fusion like color honey. With a pop of blue on the side honey. I was. You couldn't tell me I wasn't giving a natural least the tease of. Fish Mooney honey. I was giving Fish Mooney with an afro, honey. I wish I would have took pictures. But that was just a, you know, a wig just to be a freak at night, honey. The freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. Honey, so that was a hookup wig, honey. That um I did just the darn on showcase, honey. Because, you know, sometimes I like to change it up a little bit. Become something completely opposite of what I am. When I'm on my hookups, honey. So that way it'd be harder for somebody to track me down, honey. Because you know how if you finesse your makeup and wigs just right, honey, you look like a whole different person. Put in a certain kind of contacts, change up your accent a little bit, uh, give a disclosure. Yeah, I'm that type of girl, you know. When I, you know, you think the trades out there ain't the only ones discreet, honey. Us darn on corporate film girls, we got to maintain some admirability as well. So, you know, I got me on a good old fish mooney type wig, fish afro mooney wig last year. And I went on a, a little sexual escapades, and I ain't going to go too much into that. But, yeah. But, you know, that one got tangled up real fast, and I had to toss that out. And then I had a couple others. So, right now, I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I got a 612, but it, it, it just looks so fake. It's like, ugh. And then it's like, my hair really has to be braided down for me to have that. But I'm going to see how that now looks with the uh, with the Febron filler fibers. But it's like, ooh, that, that one is a little too wiggish now for my liking. Um, It's the one that I had all the way back in beauty school <laughs> it, where it was a straight blonde all over. Well, it had a little bit of dark. No, it was a blonde all over, and I added dark roots. I I drew in some dark roots, yeah. A DIY, honey. I, I got me a good old um, pen, y'all. You know, eyebrow pen, and just drew me in some dark roots on that. And I think they still there to this day. If not, we're going to spray down with some darn old filler fibers and see how that one looks. But like I said, a little bit too moon sh Matter of fact, it gives me darn old unlovely TTs, honey. So... <laughs> Mm. 
But anyways, that is it, y'all. That's everything that's going on with me. This is all my new shirts. The dudes just taste better, which gave me an idea to now to come up with my own ones. I'm thinking about really coming up with some similar ones and not give y'all no five week waiting time, honey. I I promise y'all I have them out within two weeks. Uh, and then they come with some glitter and grass. But once again, I got to test that out first because it's like, how would I trick it out with the glitter and all that and make sure that when it's washed, you know, it stays there. Like, I'm going to have to then come up with some, you know, instructions where, you know, it says, you know, make sure to wash with light colors. Make sure or wash separately. Let me see my time. Oh, we approaching near 8 o'clock. Y'all know I got to jump on this call, y'all. 8 o'clock, y'all know the Thousand Families call. If y'all ain't over there with the Thousand Families, I don't know what y'all missing out on. I done told you how to be making money for free. How the darn gonna get paid to lose weight, get paid to gain weight, get paid to uh, combat your sleep zombie, which I got to do an update. Honey, I've been sleeping soundly ever since I've been taking them melody drops, honey. So, TLC call, eight minutes. Let me jump on off here. But like I said, that's everything that's going on with me. The schoolhouse is doing fair enough. I can't wait to see some of the other folks come back. If not, I'm going to bid them, you know, au revoir in the next month or so. So, yeah, that is everything. Oh, and then the car coming this Sunday. My shirts. I don't know when I'm going to get to wear them because it's like my only day is off. I'm going to be stuck here. Another reason why I can't wait to find the car. I'm going to find, I'm, if I don't, I don't care if I just, you know, strut in the darn old subway or something. I'm going to find a way to showcase this, honey. Catch me a darn old. Oh, and another reason why I need to, uh, but anyways, I, I'm doing too much, y'all. If I get into, I'm about to jump into a whole nother conversation, y'all. But anyways, I tell y'all another reason why I need this darn old shirt, honey. I, I tell y'all another reason. But y'all stay tuned for that in the next video. So like, comment, share, subscribe. I know your diva's all over the place. Diva's quite discombobulated. And that's another thing. When I get into my house, I can darn gonna start taking my notes real thoroughly again and become organized because you know the inquisitive in me. I be I be ready to, you know, spat out so much stuff at once, it just be all over the place. I sound like somebody who's manic, honey. And you know, I deal with <laughs> quite a bit. I deal with Crohn's, I deal with depression, but I don't deal with ADHD, even though sometimes it might seem like it. But I need to get I need to start doing like four its rocks and have my notes, you know, together and just flow it cohesively. So that's what I'll be doing in future videos as well. But until then, y'all just tolerate me from now on. I, I swear we're going to get better with this. Also, I'm going to get me, you know, if I get a two-bedroom, I'm going to get the backdrop. But the thing is this. It looks like I'm going to be stuck with just a one-bedroom. So it's like we're going to push it for another six months. Ugh. But if I somehow look up and get a two-bedroom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to invest in the backdrops. Where I can, you know, add the green screen behind me. Um, I can also get the other lights to beam down on me. The, the professional lights and stuff. Get me a... Oh, yeah, definitely update my fan, honey. Especially with my storm. I, I want the darn going to give y'all a good storm impersonation. Because like I said, honey, with them darn going to talk about Janelle Monet. I'm telling you, I want to go out for storm at this point. But like I said, we're talking more videos. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.